Hello, FunshineX here. This is part two of our computer craft tutorial series. Uh, last time we created an initial computer, we ran a little bit of redstone under the ground to open our iron door. And uh, you can see the redstone I modified a little bit here. Uh, it steps down through a repeater, goes through an inverter, and then comes up, open the door. So now we can hide everything under the floor. And there we go. So I'll need a little bit more desk space to hide that. That's fine. There, we now we've got a computer desk here. And let's give ourselves a chair. Oh, where are your steps? Come on, steps. There. Now we have our chair and our computer and our monitor. And the next thing I want to do is, um, you just walked in on, on in, didn't you? Is uh, have another interface out here with another computer, and on this one we're going to be able to open the door, and all that we'll be doing is setting the redstone signal to the right of it, and it should um, should open the door for us. So let's go back into this program, and I took all that out, uh, so I'll put it right back in. quick so it refreshes our door and should close. Okay, and now from this one we want to do a similar thing, and they're not networked, so if you look at the programs here, uh, open door is not there, right? I don't see it. Okay, so we're going to create one over here, and that's just going to be redstone, set output, it's going to be the uh, the left according to the front of the computer and true. And let's do the same thing where we sleep for five. Uh, probably only need like three seconds on this one, and then let's close the door behind us. Oops, we made a program and enter error. There it is. Door open, three seconds later. Door close. Nice. Guess it's not case sensitive. Whoever told me it's case sensitive is wrong. <laughs> Guess that's definitely, yeah, working. Either way, okay. I think it's only case sensitive when you are actually in the code. When you're calling a program, you can do whatever. Now, what we want to do here is we don't want to just open it for anyone, right? So let's print a line here, and we'll say, uh, please. Enter the password. Okay. Let's just make sure that works for us. Please enter the password. Okay. Now what we've got to do is we've got to ask for input from the user. And uh, so let's put that there. And I'm just going to leave it commented out for right now. And then, if if what I'm going to write some pseudocode. That's just not really code. We're just kind of planning what we're going to write. So if uh, password is correct, then we'll do all the, this. All the scrolling is going to get annoying. If it's not. Then we're going to say, sorry, try again. Okay. Getting 
escaped. Turn that off. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna uh now we need to fill in this this to ask for uh input from the user to get the password and then we have to fix this code to actually check if the password's right. Okay, it's raining outside, so turn the sound off, but uh all we need to do here is we're gonna say password equals read. And that's going to say whatever the, the user types in is now going to be set into the thing password. And now all we can just say is, uh, well, let's actually call this their input, because it's not really the password. Okay, if what the user input is equal to our password. Open sesame. So if they typed in open sesame, it'll open the door, else it'll try again. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, we missed something here. Did you guys spot it? Let's see. If, then, else, and not seeing it. Oh, other than maybe uh, a double equal sign. So double equal sign is comparison, so we're probably screwing that up. Okay, that's probably it. Please enter the password. No. Sorry, try again. Alright. Cool. So let's go ahead and open our master door lock. And then we can come outside in the rain. And this should close behind us. Oh no, we are stuck outside. What do we do? There's creepers coming. Look out! Just kidding. Uh, let's come in here and open our door, enter the password, and it opens, and we get three seconds, and it closes. What do you think about that? He likes it. Okay, we've got a security system, we've got a mastered open door, uh, what else do we want to do? Let's put some lights in. Where are those redstone lamps? Uh, let's put some there, some there, and maybe one. I don't know. This <laughs> it's not going to be the coolest looking house, but uh, it's all right. Put we'll one right above our computer, and we're going to need to to uh, get up there. So I'll just get some stone. Is it still raining? It is. Oh, I'm, I can fly. What am I doing? Alright, I'm going to get a little more room back here. Glass needed there. Okay. And then we'll get some. Can we put? Yeah, I guess we'll find out. All right, we have the back can now output redstone for us. And let's see what we want to do then. Let me take out this out again real quick. I don't know if that works. 
Ganz schön. Okay. And then another one here. Another one there. Here. Yeah, we can put it there. Cool. Alright, let's just work with one lamp for now and then we'll do the rest. Okay, so we're going to ask. Uh, first, we're going to print a line and say, well, let's do another function here. Terminal, abbreviated term, uh, can now, we can now clear the terminal. Uh, when you do that, it keeps the mouse where it was, though. So we're going to now do a set, uh, another terminal call for set the cursor. And we, one, to one, one is back at the upper left. So it's usually a good thing to do at the beginning of every program, just so that the mouse is always in the top left. And now we can print that line for, let's say, lights on or off. And then we say input equals read. On then else if input equals off. Okay. Um, if they enter something not that's not on or off, then we're just gonna say On or let's just say invalid and close the program. Okay. If they tell us to put them on, then we're going to do a redstone. Uh, sorry, lowercase s. And we're doing the back to true. Let's spread this out a little bit. Defaults. Okay. Looks good to me. Lights. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Did something wrong. space in there. Else if is one word. Oh, let's turn them on, please. Okay, the rain has stopped. No, it hasn't. out the back wall here. Find out what happened. Okay, so this did not travel up like we wanted it to. I think what we need to do is I do not claim to be an expert with vanilla redstone. <laughs> that powers this block, which then we'll turn this one off. Which will then turn this one on, which will power that block. Turn our light on. There we go. Make a little something here. Chimney? I don't know. There. Now we have plenty of room back. 
back there. Okay, so the light is on, I believe. We can test that by taking out all these torches. Oops, breaking wood here. It's fine. No one ever said this house had to be pretty. Cool. Uh, let's turn our lights on or off. Uh, let's turn them off, please. That's off. Cool. Now we need to go back up there. Come on, fly on up. And there's our redstone signal here. It's coming along here. Come on. Oh. How many tries does it take to put a round sunshine through a square hole? Alright, let's tidy back up the roof a little bit with some steps. like that. Alright, doesn't look as good as it used to, but what what can you do? We need room. We don't have covers. <laughs> okay, uh, we're locked out. We need to get back into our... Oh, we've got a problem here. Look. It opens our door, but it leaves our password right there. So we better edit that. So down here at the bottom... We're going to sleep for two seconds, uh, just to give the user time to see our sorry try again, and then we're going to terminal clear and set cursor back to 1-1. One, one. Our password is no longer going to be on the screen. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Broke my redstone. Hey, rain's off.
lights on, please. Nice! Our lights are on. Okay, so in the Let's Play world where I have my red power mods, I can make that a lot cooler with uh, covers and, and redstone wiring. Uh, but basically that is a very basic tutorial on how to add a password to your door and how to turn lights on and off in your house with user input. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Keep tuning in for more tutorials on how to use ComputerCraft. Catch you later.